Hi all, uh, we are doing a project that is ECG and Android interfacing to Arduino via Bluetooth. These are the electrodes which we are connecting to the ECG sensors. This is the Arduino board and uh, this is the Bluetooth HC05 model. Uh, these electrodes we need to connect it to one to the left arm, right arm and uh, another to the right leg. This is the ECG sensor ED, AD8232. It has uh, actually it has 20 pinouts uh, but uh, external pins are only 5. That is ground, VCC, output, uh, lead, lead minus and plus, which will indicate whether the electrodes are connected or no. Uh, once this connection is done, this uh, we are going to connect it to the respective pins. That is the ground, VCC, and this uh, output is at lead, not. lead outs, min minus and plus. We are connecting it to uh, to the tenth and twelfth pins of the Arduino board, and the output pin is connected to the A naught. That is the ECG sense value will be stored in the A0 pin. And this is the Bluetooth HC05 module. It has 6 pinouts uh, that is state, transmit, receive, ground, VDD and enable. We will connect VDD and enable to the VCC and ground we are connecting it to the ground pin. And this transmit and receive pins are cross coupled. You can see the connections here. Now um, main IR motor is to transfer the data sense from the ECG to our Android cell. For displaying into the Android cell, we have developed an app through the MIT App Inventor and we have written a code in Arduino which is seen here, you can see it here. Uh, this we are enabling Bluetooth 12, 2 and 3rd, 2nd and 3rd pin which will act as a transmit and receive. We are cross coupling it, that is we will connect the second pin, uh, transmit pin to the second pin of the Arduino which will be the receive. That is it is going to be the cross coupling and uh, the baud rate for ECG sensor it is 9600. And for Bluetooth, it is 38400. But uh, as we have to communicate through Bluetooth, we are using uh, baud rate of 38400. And uh, ECG will work in that, but uh, only the thing is, we will get an analog values which will be too slow. Uh, this is the code. We have just initialized everything, that is, we have set the baud rate for the serial, and uh, <coughs> we are even displaying whether the Bluetooth is connected or no. And next is it, uh, this. Uh, our ECG sensor value it is stored in A0 pin that is uh, stored in a variable that is the sensor value and uh, whenever a value is present uh, that is if serial is available then the sensor value is transferred to the Bluetooth. This is our code. Now we will first verify the code. We are verified and before dumping we need to disconnect the Bluetooth transmit and receive pin and then we have to dump the code into the Arduino board. Uploading is done. After that we need to connect it back to the second and third pin. Now we can see the output in serial monitor. These are the values which, we, which it is going to sense. And the same values you can even see in the Android cell is transferred first we need to connect to the device there are very uh, various bluetooth models that are available as is this hc05 so we need to connect to this and you can see the status here it is connected and we are, you are getting the values which are seen in the serial monitor the same values are present here can even see the analog output we have to close the serial monitor and we have to go to the serial plotter since I said we are using 38400 so the analog output will be slow but if the baud rate is changed and uh, we can't write two different baud rate in a same code so we have to go with this baud rate only if you want to check it you have to go to you, sh you should write another code just make the baud rate at 9600 you will get the values This is the analog waveform which is sensed. You can see the analog waveform which, uh, the, which it is going to sense and it is displayed in the serial plotter.
थैंक यू